Hello and welcome to my channel, The Blessed Physicist. In the previous video, we talked about principle of virtual work and in this video, we will be deriving the Lombard's principle. Before we start with this topic, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. In the principle of virtual work, uh, we said that the system we are considering is in equilibrium. In this derivation, we are not considering the system to be in equilibrium. Okay, so uh, we want to apply the principle of virtual work to a system which is not in equilibrium. Okay, so how to make a system in equilibrium that is that has been mentioned by D'Alembert. According to D'Alembert, a system will remain in equilibrium under the action of a force equal to the actual force Fi plus reverse effective force Pi dot. Pi dot comes from uh, Newton's second law which said F is equal to dp by dt rate of change of momentum. So D'Alembert said that Fi plus the reversed effective force Pi dot is equal to zero. This system is in is in equilibrium. The system which has been applied with a force equal to Fi minus Pi dot is in equilibrium. Now again, like in principle of virtual work, we considered a virtual displacement del Ri consistent with the given constraints. We are going to consider it here also. If you haven't watched the video of principle of virtual work, I will add um, in the description box the link of that video or you can press the i icon to reach to that video. Okay. The principle of virtual work takes the form summation i fi minus pi dot dot del ri is equal to zero okay now this this force uh, the, the system which has been applied with this force is in equilibrium now again we will write fi as the sum of the applied force and the force of constraints in uh, the number principle forces of constraints are no more uh, that means f small fi is equal to zero so fi is equal to fi a this is the um, key benefit of the lambert's principle that we get rid of the forces of constraints here okay so uh, the principle of virtual work becomes summation i fi a minus pi dot dot del ri equal to zero now we know fi a is equal to fi so we will simply write it as summation i fi minus pi dot dot del ri is equal to zero this is de lambert's principle so by using this expression we are going to derive the lagrange equations which are very important from exam point of view so we are done with the the lambert's principle before you leave subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon